can I get a radio check, please? Yeah, coming through loud and clear. All right, guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about radio communications. I know a lot of you into van life, you, you do use walkie-talkies, two-way radios, uh, whether you're using them to communicate between the van in front or behind you when you're in convoy, or even walking around the, uh, the shows that you go to, you know, whether it's at the NEC or, or some of the other shows like the Overlander shows. I know a lot of people use walkie-talkies. <laughs> In specifically, I want to talk about these Baofengs that are pronounced so many different ways. Bufeng, Baofeng. So these Baofengs, the BF Treble AS, I've got loads of these, right? They cost about, I don't know, 11, 12 quid each. These radios, so if you've got two of them, <clears throat> or four or five or six, however many you've got, you can all communicate with each other. They're a very simple radio, on and off button, and turn in the channels up, simple as that. So on and off with that knob and change channel with that change frequency. But the thing is, a lot of people are buying these. Uh, I mean, I've had one of these now since 2017. I've had a few of them actually, I've got two left. They're called the Baofeng UV5R. This is the UV5R3 uh, tri-band. This is basically a ham radio. It's a, it's a budget radio, like sort of 25, 30 quid. But it is a, for the money, it's a fantastic unit. Now, I am not a ham radio operator. I do not have my ham radio license. I do not intend to get my ham, ra ham radio license. I don't want to be part of, of that whole... Um, although radio communications has interested me since I was a kid, but the simple way to stay on the law, or within the law, let's say, or within Ofcom's guidelines, and in America it's the FCC, <clears throat> don't transmit. So I can turn it on and I can listen to whatever I want to listen to on this radio between the, uh, what is it, 136 megahertz to... Oh, roughly 500 give or take D don't quote me on that this video is about me showing those that are interested how to get this Baofeng UV5R to communicate with the Baofeng BF Treble AS but the be all and end all of it is, is most people think that, that these only communicate with these radios if you tune the frequency. So, for example, channel one on this is, uh, megahertz is 462.12500. Um, so if I type in 462.125 on this, they don't communicate. But if I type in channel two's frequency, which is 462.255 on the uh, treble AS. So if I type that frequency into this, I can communicate the same on channel three and the same on channel 15. But this has got 16 channels. I'm now gonna show people how easy it is to get your UV5R. And the reason why I'm, I'm going on about the UV5R is because this is such a popular radio. So just to reiterate, I'm not allowed to transmit on this, but I can listen to whatever I want to listen to. But So anyway, let me show you how to get this to communicate with this. Simple as. Now, first things first, you are going to need... Oh, to buy one of these leads, USB lead, and this sort of like a double sort of jack plug, that plugs into your radio. On the f s you pull down the rubber catch at the side and you give it a good firm click. You really must make sure it's pushed all the way in, otherwise they won't communicate. First of all, we need to download the data off of this handset. 
So we'll do that by removing the little rubber side cover bung thing there and using the data cable which plugs in, give it a good, make sure it's turned off, a good solid press that proper clicks in. And when it's in, get it in some more. All right, so anyway, here we go. So I'm gonna open up Chirp. Anyway, right, so we're gonna get data off of this handset. So we've opened up Chirp, we're gonna go, ah, turn it on first of all. We turn it on, but we turn the volume right the way up. Now I believe that's because it, it communicates through tones, okay? I might be wrong. Honestly, if I'm wrong on any of this, please, please, for any of you that may watch this that really know what you're talking about, you are more than welcome to correct me, but <clears throat> we go on to radio up top here, click download from radio. It's selected on the correct, on the correct um, uh, port number here. It's a Baofeng BF treble eight, which I wanna download the data from, press okay. That is now taking all the data from that handset. I don't know whether this is necessary, but to me, I just think it's like more of a safety precaution. I then turn the handset off, unplug it. I then plug in the, which I can't open. Ah, oh, this one's a bit tougher. I end up having to get a knife to, yeah, I've got to get a knife. I can't undo that. Ah, oh, I've done it. See, I've got one of those really nasty habits. I bite my nails, I bite them down to the quick. Seriously, I'm like a farrier for human beings, I am. Only on my own nails, though. So anyway, this is switched off. This is the UV5R. Push it in. Good positive click. Turn it on. This one has given me a couple of unable to communicate issues, but it's always connected in the end. So the same thing, go to radio, click download from radio. It's on Baofeng, the correct pull. I've got to change the radio. We're going down to UV5R. Uh, due to that, da -da 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 -da. press OK. Pause your screen if you want to read that. OK, OK again. There we go. This takes a little bit longer because there's far more data on this. Now, this has already been done, this radio, and so has my other one. I, as I said, I had three of these, but I've only got two left, and I will be getting another one because they've discontinued. I believe they've discontinued making the UV5R, and for the price, they are an absolute fantastic little radio for listening. With these radios, if I wanted to communicate, let's say on channel one, right? What you normally do on the radio manually, I can type in 462.125. To all intents and purposes, most people think I can then communicate with channel one on this, but it doesn't work like that. If you look on, if you look on here, what happened? If right, I'll tell you what to explain it slightly different look at channel two remember channel two and channel three and channel 15 they are the channels that you can openly communicate from these radios by just inputting the frequency manually on the keypad you can communicate them with the treble as <clears throat> but all the other channels you're locked out and the reason why is simply because of this tone mode and the tone squelch. DTCS, DTCS polarity. Get the software, get a lead, and all you have to do then, so for example, we will go over to um, the data. So I've switched over to the data from the treble AS, channel one, highlight the frequency, right click, copy, then go over to your UV5R profile. Now, these were pretty much empty when this radio is standard, okay? Right, so let's say, for example, say, because I've put it there, channel one, right click and then paste. 
okay i'm not going to do it because I, I ain't going to start messing about it because i've done it already i will then give it a name it's bfch because it's baofeng channel 01 but this is where the important stuff comes from you have to import your, your tone mode okay so click on that you can choose the different tones which is tsql because if you look at the the treble as profile channel one is tsql then tone scroll 69.3 fm skip s power high that power is high or, high or low okay on the on these units so then you go over to your uh, uv5r profile and then for channel one i've given it a name bfch01 I've set the tone mode TSQL, squelch, and so on. So as you can see, for channel two and channel three, as already discussed, you ain't got to do anything because the radios already communicate the same as with 15. So you then got to go to channel four, copy that frequency again, look TSQL still, but the tone squelch is 103.5, so go over to your UV5R profile and you just simply start putting in all. So if you look at these details, all these, this cluster of details here. So all of these details are all the exact same as one to 16 here. And like I said, that is really how easy it is. And like I said, most people, all they were doing was manually inputting the frequency 462.125 using the keypads on the handset, expecting to be able to communicate with this. But you have to set the tone mode, the tone squelch, and so on. So, guys, that is really it. I hope you've understood that it is that simple then once you've put all those details into your UV5R profile you then go up to radio upload to radio it's already on the Baofeng it's greyed out it's already there because it's recognized that that's the radio that's plugged into it you click OK, which I'm not going to do, just in case I've pressed anything on here by accident. No, I, no, to hell with it. I'll show you. At the end of the day, I've got this profile all saved. So, so upload to radio, press OK, sit back, and it ain't communicating. <laughs> yeah, boy. Had to happen, didn't it? Right, there you go. I did say to you that I've had a couple of issues with this, this radio communicate it's just one of those things it happens i'll then turn it off i'll unplug it i'll push it back in turn it back on volume up make sure that's all plugged in proper we we'll try it now so radio upload to radio press ok there we go sit back have a cup of tea have a beer whatever as soon as that's 100 percent gone all the way across not that there's a percentage counter but once it's gone across unplug them all job done so that guys is pretty much it so i'll show you now turn it on hopefully you can see that I will, I'm on BFCH channel 2, I'll go to channel 1, because we know channel 2 works anyway, so we're on channel 1, the frequency, I'll then, so that's the voice that was on the, this radio basically, because they're both from the same manufacturer, okay, so I'll go to 1, testing, testing, testing BF triple AS, communicating with UV5R, that's channel 1, then we go up to channel two. Yeah. Test, test, test. Channel three. three. Turn it on to three. <clears throat> test, test, test. Channel four, test. 
So there you have it. I'm not going to go through all the channels. I'll tell you what, we'll go, I'll just go to a random channel, channel 10, okay? Right, there you go. BFCH, channel 10. Test, test, test. It all works. So that is it. It's as simple as that. You just need Chirp software. <clears throat> go into Google, type in Chirp space next. It's that simple to get these two radios to communicate. Now, um, like I say, I've got quite a few of these, these handsets. I think about six of these. I did have more. Um, a few of them are in pieces where they've, I've dropped them and I've, I've lost the transmitting ability or I've lost the receiving ability. It may transmit and not receive. But these cost between 10 and 12 quid each. And they're a fantastic little hand, hand um, walkie-talkie. Um, so that's the BF Treble AS and of course the UV5R needed. So guys, that's pretty much it. I really hope you've got something out of this video. This video wasn't really aimed at my normal subscribers, but I'm pretty sure that some of you subscribers out there do dabble in these radios. You do communicate when you're walking around the shows and stuff with, with your friends. You'll communicate on some form of radio. Most of you probably even know about the Baofang, so you may have learned something. I may have taught you something there, but I tell you what, I highly recommend these units for listening. Okay? Go out and get yourself one. 25 quid, mum. Catch you later, guys. Stay safe.